It is a lovely Wednesday, May 22nd. It is another day in FC24. We do have a couple more leaks for Serie A. Do you want to build the team of your dreams? If so, visit u7buy.com, the fastest, most reliable, and safest FIFA coin market out there today. And for a limited time, use the code ELITE. Yes, guys, ELITE for 6% off. The team is starting to look very, very spicy. Um, we have some new content to talk about for today and then a talk about evolutions that I feel like we need to talk about uh, Because it's just gotten stale. It's just gotten very very still. Uh, I talked about it a little bit in yesterday's video I'm actually gonna give examples in today's video of stuff. We need uh, by EA in terms of evolution So let's get straight into it. If you're new around here guys all the thumbs up on the videos uh, are very, very much appreciated. If you're new around here also, why not subscribe to the channel? I try to post it. Well, I'm starting to post a lot more different content uh, other than just player reviews. Um, so all the support, guys, is very, very much appreciated. And to those of you who actually support these videos, thank you guys so much. I am very, very grateful and very, very thankful for you guys and everyone. Now, in terms of objective, we actually did get a new... Uh, E, I think this is new uh, e Champions League final not that anybody cares. Uh, it's a Friendly mode. Yeah in the in the friendlies mode that you have to play you get all this stuff you get some packs and stuff like that, you know, it's It's okay. I guess I'm not really into it. I don't really uh, Care too much about it. We all we also excuse me did get a Hans Vanekin card today um, For completion. It's a plus right? It is a plus. It's a center mid that looks very very good i'm sure he, he's going to be able to go into a couple of upgrades uh evolution upgrades that is here in the near future he's six five uh so he is obviously a massive brain and some massive frame and some pretty good traits uh play styles as well for him so it's really not a bad card so that's actually pretty nice we did get correa a uh, flashback spc as you guys know uh 87 86 i do believe is a requirement for him it's great value. It's it's honestly great value. I know he's had a couple evolutions where you can actually get him up to a 93 rated card. I think it's a team that's season live as well. And I'm sure there are some people who did it. But if you didn't, if you missed out on that, here's a chance to get this Korea. Um, very nice card. Uh, very good stats. Basically, every ball control play style except first touch, which is pretty important. Uh, but he didn't have it. But it's okay. Uh, Trivela, Relentless Plus, Press Proven as well. Very, very good. Technical as well. It's a nice card. So he's there. If you guys want to complete them, uh, it's it's very nice. So definitely don't forget to do the Hellwins there. He's there for two weeks. So just don't forget to grind your way towards that one if you really grind the game. Or if you just want to do them now. But it is a very nice card. And then we also got, obviously, the La Liga team of the season pack today. Um, I already did it. I was supposed to open it for this video. I accidentally opened it in the web back because I was uh, trying to clear the store. Uh, my, my thing, my packs in the store, and I accidentally opened it like a dummy. Uh, I got a duplicate, untradeable. Obviously, it was a Girona, uh, Alex Moreno, I think is that his name. Uh, the, 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 the Girona center mid. It was a duplicate, obviously. Uh, so, do if you do this, just you're warned, guys. You're going to get a duplicate of whatever you have in the club. It's a high percentage, and it's also a high percentage. You're going to get a car that's under 50k or around that mark. Don't expect Bellingham. You're really not going to get him, but... In terms of the game, that's actually it. Now, evolutions. Uh, I talked about this a little bit yesterday. Um, it's just been lacking, right? It's 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 just lacking. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just gotten completely still. It's just gotten completely dead. And yesterday, I mentioned in the video for yesterday how they need to stop with this. While these upgrades are nice, you know, making the evolutions for team of the season cards, you can upgrade those by one stat. While that's nice, I want the other evolutions where we can upgrade way lower rated cards, obviously, into high rated cards. Um, that is what I think they need to start doing. Well, it's not what I think they need to start doing again. They just need to start doing it again. I don't know why they have stopped for team of the season. Again, this is nice, and that's fine. Keep releasing these, but keep releasing the other versions as well. And it's just the best example I have is... I, I love these. These radioactive cards, I love them. I made these from Libertadores cards. Um, I, I made these from, they were, I think, silvers. They might have been silvers or just low, low gold rated cards. Um, but these are the cards I made from that. These are the type of evolutions they need to start putting in the game again. 
uh, and just make them obviously team of the season level cards. I love this card. I play with this card a lot. I absolutely love him. He is incredibly fun to play with, and he is insanely, insanely good. I love this little Heisha card as well. Very, very good. Just very fun to play with. He has 99 shooting, insane pace. Um, I don't really care that he doesn't have a lot of playstyles. I'm not a person that plays this game for playstyles. I could care less if players, well, I couldn't care less if players didn't have certain playstyles or not. These cards are so fun. I still enjoy these cards tremendously. Uh, but the point is, they need to start adding this again. I have cards here that I just haven't touched in a while because I can't. This Ito card, uh, I have. it's been a while since I've uh, put him in an evolution. It would be nice to put him in another evolution uh, that EA can release hopefully soon uh, because it's just gotten stale with him. Araujo, he's been able to go into some evolutions. But that just brings up another problem. You can only, once you put one card into an evolution, that's it with that evolution. It's done. You have to make a choice. You're forced to make a choice to pick one card to put in it. And it, it, it just sucks because there's a lot of these cards that I have down here. I've been able to put into other evolutions, but I've just chosen other cards um, ahead of these. And that's the problem. Uh, we need to be able to upgrade a lot of these cards more. Um, they need to re-release the same evils probably twice or three times, honestly, just to have the opportunity to put all our evolutions into the car, into the, uh, into the objectives for the evolution. This Joao Paulo, I would love to upgrade him. He's been able, he's been eligible for a couple, but I've picked other cards. Isaacson, another one that I would love to put into another evolution because he is incredible, even as a, only an 83 rated card. He's crazy good. I absolutely love him, but I just need to put him in another one. I need to keep boosting the stats. Malasia is the same. Arajo obviously is the same. Vela, Martinez, Santi, Montes. Montes I've been able to put in a couple of them, but I chose some other center backs. Um, so it'd be nice to be able to put him into another one. Why? Kubo, Jensen, Abu. I know these are high rated cards, um, but giving us low rated evolutions, cards that we can put into those to just make them really, really high tier team of the season level cars, we're missing it. And the fact also, they need to add in a, a way for us to uh, evo more than one player at a time. It's been one player the entire year, uh, except that one time where we had that glitch where you could do more than one, but it's just been one. I hate that, they need to stop that. Make it where we can evo more than one player at a time. We should be able to evo as many players honestly as we want at the same time um but obviously they're not going to do that but it'd be nice if they would but they need to start with just putting in evolutions low rated gold cards silver cards making them super super high rated because honestly this 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 team of the season uh stuff it's just gotten very still uh, like really really fast now we're about to get into the league so if you don't want to uh, see that obviously you will just skip the part of the video uh, but as you know, the Europa League final was today. <laughs> uh, Atalanta actually humiliated and just destroyed Leverkusen. And their streak is officially over. But if you're an idiot like me and you didn't complete Ederson, <laughs> you're going to miss out. He's getting the plus two for Atalanta's victory. This card, I uh, this will be my most regretted card of the year. Uh, that the uh, SPC I just didn't complete. Um, I just didn't do it. I forgot. I did Hoffman instantly. I just c forgot to go back and do this one. He was only like, f what, 40, 50K, I think. Something like that. Uh, but I didn't do him. And the worst part, the worst part is, you know they're going to add a showdown evolution here soon. So you're going to be able to put him in that one. And he's just going to be a 95 rated absolute monster. So I completely just regret not doing this. And I'm going to hate myself for the rest of the year. Because this now looks like just, and I mean, it already was a great card. Now it just looks like just a ridiculously fun card. Uh, so I, I missed out. I completely missed out on Ederson. Uh, and if you watch the game, you know Lugman scored three uh, goals. Uh, just two absolute incredible, beautiful goals. Um, if he wasn't in Team of the Season or Team of the Season moments already, he already is. Uh, EA will use today's game as... Uh, a, a reason to put him in not saying he didn't deserve it he probably he, well, he actually he, he does deserve to be in there he's had a pretty solid year um, but uh, he's definitely going to be in it or EA it'd be nice if you just add a special version SBC in the game uh, that would be nice I know a lot of people would easily complete that card um, 
So it, it, it'd be nice to have a special version of Lookman uh, because he had an absolutely ridiculous performance today. Um, so that'd be nice uh, if EA could do that. Now, for the leaks for today, we do have Teo Hernandez coming as a team of the season. Not really quite sure why he's getting one, but he is getting one uh, for AC Milan. Um, someone said DiMarco is clear. Uh, probably. Uh Hasn't even been the best left back in the league. Probably true as well. Um, so, yeah, he is coming uh, for Friday. Obviously, will be most likely a desired card. We'll see what play styles they give him. But he will most likely have whip pass plus as one of the play styles. Another card coming is Mr. Let's go ahead and do it like this. Uh, Hakan Chahanoglu as well. Will be one of the better center mids midfielders in the game, honestly. Um... It's just going to be disgusting in game. I, it's been a couple of times. I think it was him where I wanted to put him into an Evo. Just make him a just ridiculous, insane card. I haven't been able to do it. But uh, he will be there. A lot of people will probably pack this card. But it's it'll probably be very, very good in game. And finally, Mr. Lautaro Martinez. No surprise there. Uh, will be absolutely deadly. Uh, will be just insanely, insanely good in game. He's just a deadly striker. Strong, fast. Dribbling is very good. And the shooting... I don't even need to mention how good it is, uh, but he will definitely be in the game. Let's see if they give him a five-star week, but my guess is they will. Uh, but he will most likely have finesse shot uh, and m maybe technical. Uh, we'll see if they actually give it to him. Uh, but yeah, Lotaro is coming this Friday, so do look out for that one because he is going to be very, very good. Now, according to some guy named Razer, EAFC content, Razer, R-A-Z-Z-E-R, -Z -Z Bastoni will be getting a team of the season. Um, we'll see if he actually gets one. I don't know how accurate this guy is with leaks, but he's the only one that's leaked it so far. Uh, but we will see if he gets a team of the season. People love this showdown, right? The showdown was incredible. I never liked it, even after the upgrade. I never liked it. I didn't think it was a good card. He felt terrible. He was heavy. He was slow. He was sluggish. Everybody dribbled past him. I didn't like him, but everybody loved him. Uh, but he will be coming as a team of the season, apparently. And Mr. Krava as well. I'm not even going to try to say his name because I always try to butcher it. Uh, but apparently he's going to get one as well. Not really sure why. He really hasn't had a great year. I think he had a better year last year. Uh, it seemed like he had a better year last year than this year. He's had a solid year. Uh, but he will be in the team, no doubt. We'll see if this is a desired card. I, have n I, I, I don't think I've even played against him this year. Um, I don't even know if he has any special cards this year. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see uh, what his price is going to be on this one. But maybe EA make him super OP and people may want to play with him again. But he is coming on Friday for Serie A team of the season. In terms of news and leagues, that is going to be it for today. Still no SC25 news. That's going to be coming eventually pretty soon. Once we get into the summer, they'll start releasing some stuff. Some leagues will start coming out and stuff like that. Uh, but don't you guys worry because I will be covering that all over the summer. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And please do take care of yourselves, each other, and your families. And I'll see you guys in the next video.